Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Steelers fans, I know you're pumped up. We're a couple of days past the NFL draft, and let me tell you, the Pittsburgh Steelers are looking solid on paper. I've been checking out some articles and catching up on TV, and it's pretty clear most people agree that the Steelers had an amazing draft class. Let's break it down. In the first round, we got Troy Fanu, who's looking like a day one starter. Second round brought us Zach Free, another day one starter. Then in the third round, we snagged Roman Wilson and Peyton Wilson, both expected to make an impact right from the start. And that's just the beginning. We also picked up some promising talent like Mason McCormack in the fourth round, Logan Lee in the sixth round, and Ryan Watts, a quarterback from Texas. But let's focus on those first four picks. They're practically perfect. Now here's some exciting news. Rumors are swirling about Debo Samuel and Brandon Auk, and apparently Omar Khan has been working the phones, aiming to bring in a top-tier wide receiver. There's talk of Corlin Sutton from the Denver Broncos, and the Steelers have been making moves before, during, and after the draft. With additions like Patrick McQueen, Justin Fields, and Russell Wilson, along with a new offensive coordinator, things are looking up for the Steelers. I'm feeling really confident about this team, especially with the revamped offensive line. Get ready, Steelers fans, because this season is shaping up to be something special. All right, folks, that's all the time we've got for today. But before you go, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for your daily dose of NFL content. Steelers fans, we appreciate you all. Let's see if we can get this video up to 1,000 likes. That would mean the world to me. Now let's dive into the draft picks. Day one, we snagged Troy Fanu, and we've already talked about this in a previous video. It's a fantastic move. Now let's talk about the new offensive line setup. Fanu can slot in at left tackle or left guard, depending on how the camp battles shake out. As it stands on paper, here's our starting offensive line. Troy Fanu at left tackle, Isaac Kamalu at left guard, Zach Rur at center, James Daniels at right guard, and Rick Jones at right tackle. Fanu brings a lot to the table. He's a solid pass blocker and run blocker. He played a big role in getting the Washington Huskies to the national championship game last year. We all know how crucial the offensive line is. Without a strong line, your Super Bowl dreams can go down the drain. So it's great to see the Steelers addressing this need early in the draft. With Fanu and Frazier in the first and second rounds, the Steelers are off to a fantastic start. It's no wonder most people are giving them top marks for these picks. There was some worry that Troy might get snatched up early in the first round, somewhere around picks 10 to 15. If the Steelers wanted him, they'd have to make a move and trade up. The same concern applied to center Zach Frazier from West Virginia. People thought he might go late first or early second round, and if the Steelers were serious about him, they'd need to trade up. But hey, they got both Troy Fanu and Zach Frazier, securing their offensive line. These guys are ready to step in as day one starters or contributors. I'm not too concerned about camp battles. These two are locks for the starting lineup. But wait, there's more. The Steelers picked up Roman Wilson, a wide receiver from Michigan. Now, some folks might say, sure, he's good, but do the Steelers really need more at that position? Well, let's consider this. They've got star receiver George Pickens, but they need to surround him with talent. Roman Wilson fits the bill. Last year, he had 48 catches, 789 yards, averaging over 16 yards per reception with 12 touchdowns. Sure, they lost Ani Deontay last season, who had 717 yards. But with Roman Wilson on board, even if he starts as wide receiver three, he's adding depth and firepower to the Steelers' receiving core. I believe Roman Wilson has a good shot at winning the battle for wide receiver two. If he can reach around 717 yards, which I think is doable, then this draft pick is a win, both in the short and long term. The Steelers needed help at wide receiver, and they addressed it in the third round. Sure, it would have been nice to grab someone like Brian Thomas in the first round, but 
The truth is, starting caliber wide receivers can be found across the league. Just look at Yuka Nakua from last season. And let's not forget about those rumors. Bryant McFadden, former Steeler cornerback and current CBS Sports NFL analyst, teased on Twitter about a potential big acquisition for the Steelers. He mentioned that Omar is working hard and the Steelers are close to landing a significant playmaker. In fact, there were reports that the Steelers reached out to the Denver Broncos about wide receiver Corlin Sutton both before and during the draft. They were also reportedly close to trading for Brandon Auk and Dubbo Samuel. So even though I won't dwell too much on the speculation, it seems like the Steelers might not be done at the wide receiver position. But even if they don't make any more moves, if Roman Wilson can put up around 700 receiving yards in his rookie season, something we saw several rookies achieve last year, then the Steelers' wide receiver room is looking pretty solid. This is another A-plus move, folks. Now let's talk about Peyton Wilson real quick. This guy was a beast in college. He played for North Carolina State alongside some other incredible linebackers like Al Landon Roberts, Patrick Queen, and TJW Alex. The linebacker room is stacked with talent, and adding Wilson only makes it stronger. In his five years at North Carolina State, Wilson racked up impressive stats. He had 69 solo tackles and a whopping 138 combined tackles, with 17 and a half tackles for loss. He also notched six sacks, three interceptions, two fumble recoveries, and a forced fumble. Wilson is the real deal, and even though he might see limited snaps initially, he adds valuable depth to the linebacker room. So those are the first four picks we've covered for tonight. Stay tuned for more film breakdowns and all the fun stuff. I just got back from a Cubs game at Fenway, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and most importantly, give me your grade for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going with A-plus all the way.